Hey guys, welcome to the next tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing via Kali Linux. So in the previous tutorials, I taught you about social engineering and how we can go ahead and gather information and exploit the, uh, those things against our client or any of your target that you have. Uh, so we have seen these things, but one or the other time you may get caught or there may be some reason due to which you are unable to perform the social engineering. For example, you are staying in one town and uh, you don't have any information or knowledge about where the person is or to whom you need to contact and the party is in some other town or uh, you need to social engineer your way through your email without contacting so that, that means that you cannot go ahead and gather information you need to contact them without talking to them like something like email or sending a message or something like that so at that point of time you need um, more of a technical expertise rather than just going ahead and using your social engineering techniques so at that point of time computer malwares are the one that can help you out so we have loads of uh, I'll just go ahead and show you out let me just open my a VMware workstation so there are n number of tools in Kali Linux which has uh, I believe around thousand exploits and uh, viruses that can go ahead and help you in attacking different types of systems so I would be showing you two of the most important one would be through the command prompt and the other one through would be through the Windows interpreter prompt so uh, by doing that okay just a moment I'll my Cal Linux as well okay so today I would be showing you that but before I go ahead and proceed I would like to tell you that virus are not the one that can go ahead and help you in that case so it's a difference between there's a lot of difference between virus Trojan horse and malware and different types of all those viruses so first I'll be taking you through a tour of what types of viruses are there and later on which viruses are we going to use today go ahead and gather much more information on about that so starting with I'll just go ahead and show you two important payloads that we would be using today okay. Okay, this was the one that I created yesterday so I'll just delete that and as you can see under a social engineering toolkit we have creating you can see over here we have a payload and listener and infectious media generator so these are the two things which we would be learning and after that we will be learning something which is quite different and it's not a normal way that uh, through which we would attack someone that is called in Cal Linux as evil grade so that's the name of the software so I'll just go ahead and run this and this is what we'll be learning next time onwards so so I'll just check if okay perfect and uh, perfect so as you can see, uh, when I type show modules, we have n number of applications over here. APD that's for Windows, APD that's for Linux, CCleaner, BS Player, Blackberry, and I will, these are for Windows. And Nokia software, Notepad Plus, Open Office. So we have an all-in-one evil tool uh, kit over here. And one more thing that I would like to ask you that is before you go ahead and download any other Trojan along with the rootkit from the internet just go ahead and install the RK Hunter in your operating system just to make sure that no one else is actually spying on your system you need to make yourself first secure in order for them to go ahead and do that so you need to install the rootkit hunter and I'll be showing you that not now by the end of this tutorial I'll be showing you that so I'll, be, I'll just go ahead and start with my PowerPoint presentation so computer malware so what exactly is a computer virus a computer virus is a computer program that can copy itself and infect a computer without the permission or knowledge of the owner so what exactly it is uh, computer virus uh, making a computer virus is just like giving birth to a child I may be speaking that metaphorically but why I'm telling you that is because you need to spoon feed it 
each and everything that you ask and need to, it to do. For example, when you have a small baby, you need to make it learn how to walk and what things to do, what things not to do, to whom it should be friendly, to whom it should, should not be. Similarly, you when you go ahead and write down a computer virus in any language, may it be Python or Perl or Ruby, you need to make sure that you give it specific instructions as to what it does, which files it needs to infect, whether it's a boot sector or just the system files or each and every file that it has on PC or it, it needs to take up space or it, ne it needs to take minimum space or it needs to self-destruct at some specific point of time. So the viruses which I have over here, which I will be teaching you today, would just be an overall uh, the most common viruses that have been used for a long time but there are some more creepy viruses over there uh, which are like uh, uh, logic bombs which are auto detonate after some point of time or we have time bombs which detonate on specific time that you ask it to uh, that you need to mention in the virus so there are a number of viruses but I will be only showing you the top famous ones so one of the first detected virus was the creeper virus in the early 70s and before the networks before uh, as you know that Google came like around 10 to 15 years back I believe I don't know exactly when uh, but I believe it's 10 to 15 years back before that even before that there were computer virus and they were not spread through network or internet social engineering was very less at those days at those days these viruses spread through removable media such as floppy disk or CD-ROMs the reason being that we did, I don't think we had a USBs at that point of time that is the reason